Hi guys. Ooh. Finally, a week later, I've actually been at Mum's. <sighs> and I have the Lego train here now. And I can't stop playing with the damn thing. I've got to flatten the batteries, I think. But uh, anyway. So I was just reading a comment on there. <laughs> oh. Oh. So yeah, I'm going to be a lazy bastard and just roll up here on my chair. Here it is. It's a set from 2010, so... You know, it's getting on in age, but it's all good. It was about 98% complete, because there was a couple of niggly little bits missing, but nothing that I didn't have up here to replace it with, so that doesn't matter. <laughs> Not fussed. But uh, I've got the level crossing, got shitloads of extra track. Because normally when you buy something like this, the set, you might get the two points and some extra straights, you know, so you can make a siding and enough to make a loop. That's all you get, you know, so you can actually set it up and play with it. Um, <clears throat> got the gantry crane, that was part of the set. That level crossing is extra, and I do believe that flexi track is extra as well. But most of the track I've got here, I don't think I'm going to need any bends. I might, but I don't think I will. But I'm pretty certain most of this track's going to do at least two thirds of the circular around this town. And I can't help it. I know it's Lego and I shouldn't really talk about Lego on my main channel, but I'm going to anyway because it's my channel. <laughs> I'm going to put the train yard up there. I'm going to put the train station up there. I might cheat and just buy a um, Lego set, which is a train station. They do them sets like that. And uh, have a couple of sidings up there and make a little freight yard up. So I'm going to need two buffers, aren't I? Yay! Which means I may have to start the siding up that end. Yay. <laughs> well, I should be able to do it with these two points. If not, I'll just buy another one. The track is quite cheap to buy, so... Yeah. So this is now looking very promising now. It's getting there. But um, that's one reason I put this build on hold, because uh, I knew I was going to have to shuffle everything around to get the train in. Because I knew if I didn't get one for Christmas, I was going to buy one this year anyway. And I want to get the train in, like I said, so I can actually build everything else around the train. So, um, yeah, it kind of put a, threw a spanner in the works on uh, <laughs> everything else. But never mind. It's worth it to me. I'm having fun. Sure, I'll sh I've got to show you it going around the track. Here it is. This is a cool little device as well, because I can... Uh, bloody hell. I can control four trains at the same time with this. I won't be, because only, I'm only going to have the one circular, but... If I want to shuffle them around in the yard up there, I can control them like that. And here we go. Get it up to some decent speed, because it sometimes gets stuck on the corners. Whee! I really do feel like a giant big kid with this going around the track like this. You might notice it speeds up a little bit on the straights and then slows down in the corners. I'm guessing there's a bit of restriction as it goes around the corners. All infrared controlled. So I can slow it right down. 
Now that I'm getting used to the controller. The infrared controller is in there. And to control the four different trains, what it's got, there's a switch on there numbered one to four. So it's got four positions. Same as that switch. So you just correspond this switch with whatever number you've got on the got the switch set to on the locomotive. And I presume if you have two set on the number four, you could literally control two of these at the same time. <laughs> and that's just an instant stop button, that red one. Now if I just set it going again, and I just hit that, see, it just stops. Which is handy if it crashes or you've just got to stop it in a hurry for whatever reason. But uh, yeah, I am a very happy chappy. Oh yeah, I got given that yesterday as well. And a few odd CDs and some records and a few other bits and pieces. Right, so I think I'm going <clears> to... <throat> Actually, no, I can't, can I? I was going to say I could... I was going to spend tomorrow um, setting up some of this track, but I can't without the base plates. And I need a lot of them. And there's going to be a lot of buildings moved around as well. That road is going to stay there though, and it's going to go right to the end. So I'm going to have a road going down the far end for the um, freight yard. So the um, big rigs can get in and out with the freight. Uh, so I might move these houses and bung them up this end somewhere. Or just leave them exactly where they are. That calf at the end there, the yellow building, that's going to be moved with the blue roof. Uh, yeah, I think I'll leave the houses where they are. Right, oh, I've got my CD case here as well. It says lockable. Ah, I wonder if that's the key that I dropped and it flew underneath this table. I don't really need it locked, so I'm not worried about that. So, uh, I think that can hold about a hundred DVDs and CDs, so I don't actually know how many I've got in my stack in the um, bedroom. Because uh, I uh, had a bit of a sort out, was it yesterday? No, it wasn't yesterday. I was busy with other things yesterday. Let me just move these boxes. I was so eager to get it set up, I just threw the boxes across the room. Yeah, I had a friend pop up. Um, we're building this for him. But I need a cable. <laughs> need a gear cable and a front drailia. I can make it work so it doesn't have the front gears. That's not a problem. So I can get it working for him. We could do the front gears another day. There's another reason I came in here. Oh, yeah. I've got all of these DVDs. All of them. And I'm not going to get them up in one hand, am I? No, I'm not even going to try. <laughs> uh, I've got all those as well, but... I didn't know how many discs that would hold in that case, so... Oh yeah, and I've got all those up on that shelf. That doesn't matter, though. I have kept hold of the smaller DVD racks. I've got rid of those two fucking big ones. I think they're the most stupidest thing I'd ever went and bought, but never mind. They're gone now. So I've got those to sort. Uh, do, 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 do. I'm guessing Nemo wants something to eat. Had a roast dinner at Mum's today with gravy, and she uses Sainsbury's gravy powder. And half an hour later, I'm in the toilet. You know, shitting through the eye of a needle.
again. Then we figured out why eventually, because Mum's like, what did you eat for breakfast? I said, toast. <laughs> you know, with dairy-free butter. And a bit of salad cream. But the salad cream didn't have lactose in, because Mum checked it. She said, what brand do you got? I said, Heinz, like what you're now holding. <laughs> so we racked our brains, and she went and got the box of gravy powder out of the cupboard. It's got lactose in it. So I've actually been three times. <laughs> I would have never... She was apologetic, obviously, but... To be honest, I would have never suspected the gravy. That's not something I would have expected to find milk in. But milk was used in it. It said it right there in the ingredients. Um, but the instant gravy doesn't have it, so I can use that. So I've just got to remember that next time. Good Lord. I don't mind having these diet restrictions in a sense, but they are annoying because it, you know, my friends when they were here yesterday went and got a pizza and without me knowing they got a big enough one so they could share it with me and I had to sort of say I can't because it's got cheese <laughs> I would be straight in the toilet <laughs> within 30 minutes if I did and at the moment because I've still got that hemorrhoid problem there not as bad as it was it's getting better but I really don't want to go any more than necessary. So, <laughs> yeah. So, I've really got to watch it. That's a definite, though. I've definitely got a lactose intolerance. That just confirmed it. The fact I had that roast dinner with the gravy. That's the only thing I've eaten. She even checked the ingredients on the bread, because some of them have lactose in them. Some don't. But... The hover spread she's got didn't, so it wasn't that. <laughs> Yay. It's just, it's such a pain, because I've got to say, I can't have that. It's got lactose in it. Can't have that, it's got lactose in it. Can't have that, that's got too much sugar in it. <sighs> See what I mean, how that can get annoying? Not so much depressing, but just annoying. I mean, I've actually gotten used to not having chocolate. There's probably lacto-free or, you know, dairy-free chocolate out there somewhere. If I look hard enough. Anyway, Postman came yesterday and brought me two long-awaited cuddlies. I've got a little AJ up here, little Applejack. I've got to stand her that way, because otherwise she topples over and falls flat on her nose. Um... Oh yeah, I'm running out of battery, so I'm gonna be as quick as I can. My friend's girl, my friend's girlfriend is uh, into ponies as well, in my little pony. And she sold. I'll show you it in a minute. But there's another one over there that she sold me. And I've got a bunch of stuff to pick up Thursday. But this is the other one I got on eBay, the Octavia. Yay! And now I've got to get vinyl scratch. I've got to have the pair. It's got to be done. Ugh. Come here, Queenie. And Queen Chrysalis that I got off my friend's girlfriend. She was having to clean up, clear out of her collection because she's got so much. So she was sort of getting rid of some of the ones that she didn't want anymore. Which is fair enough, you know. I'm sure we've all bought things for our own various collections and then thought, hmm, don't want that now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. The villain of the cartoon. Or one of them, anyway. <laughs> but I couldn't resist. Couldn't resist to bring that one home yesterday. And I've got a few other bits, like I said. Uh, I'll pick up Thursday. Not a problem. Ugh. I've got chocolate on there and I so want to eat it. And I know if I do, I'm going to be in there within 30 minutes. And by in there, I mean the bathroom, so I'm not going to. <laughs> no fucking way. I've been enough already, but it is tempting. I'm going to give that to someone. 
Um, I don't know if Gaz would eat them. Bye. That's my stepdad, by the way. I just dropped his name. <sighs> Never mind. Shit happens. You might know his name, but you don't know his last name. <laughs> You gotta be so careful because you don't know what sort of assholes are out there, do you? You know, that might fucking do something to troll you. I don't care what they do to me, you know, just don't pick on my family. If you've got a gripe against me, then just keep that gripe against me. Don't include anyone else. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna disappear. I want to put some music on and I've got various creams and ointments for various bleeding itches and things I've got to put on as well. Yeah, joy. You know, athlete's foot for one. The joys of being diabetic. And I can guarantee I could treat this. Give it a few months and that fucker will be back again. Pisses me off. And I've got thrush again. Again, the joys of being diabetic. You're more prone to infections like that. Unfortunately. Is that far from me? I can't remember because I can't remember where Anchor Road is. <laughs> anyway. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you liked the video. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you want to, you know, I'm not forcing you to do anything. It's entirely if you want to. You know, if you like sort of random vloggers. And uh, I'll talk to you again, maybe tomorrow. I've got a bike to fix. I'm going to fix that. I'll start again. <laughs> That girl's one that was left on my shed, or the woman's mountain bike. No one's claimed it. I've not seen anything about it being nicked anywhere, you know. Have you seen my bike? It was stolen from blah blah blah. No, nothing like that anywhere, so... I'm just going to fix that back tire and sell it. <clears throat> um, if it's still up the corner, someone might have nicked it by now. I had a job because it was locked to a bunch of other bikes, but you never know. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you again possibly tomorrow. Bye.